Right, so I'm quite aware of the fact that I haven't made any K20, K24 type deal uh, head gasket talks. And that's probably because of the fact that um, looking at looking at the K24, K20 head swap, <clears throat> I kind of almost disregard it. Not because it's not, you know, not because it's not truth, but just because of the fact that uh, if you, like, I watched, I made a video about that. It's like five minutes long. So I'll link that. You'll see it pop up somewhere in the cards, and I guess I'll leave it at the end of the video or whatnot, so you can go watch that. Uh, it's real quick, and it's pretty detailed, the reason why I, I talk about that there. So, uh, I guess the other thing would be, to just to kind of like talk about, uh, oh, the reason why I'm doing this mainly is because that fucking video I made about comparing K20 blocks apparently has become pretty popular. It's getting a lot of a lot of hits recently. And you know a lot of comments. It's, it's I mean, I, of course, my videos, older ones, still get comments and shit from time to time, but not as frequently as that one is getting. So I guess I'll maybe leave that one in the in the end too if you haven't already seen that. But um, yeah. So I thought you know I compared blocks. Let me do another block comparison in the head gases, right? Oh, so I guess I you know I started over here. I was gonna say first we'll start with the head gases, right? But then well, I guess we'll go over here real quick and take a look at these. Uh, K23 block, so K20 block, K24 block, so K24 block, right? You're going to see that there's a whole lot of similarities here with these blocks. I think this is kind of like, you know, the same, same situation a lot, or similar to like with the B-Series and shit where the blocks are virtually the same. One's just bored over a millimeter, right? The 86 millimeter bore for the uh, stock K20s and 87 for the stock uh, K24, right? And uh, so, yeah. Um, plus I figured out, you know, I'm going to be putting a fucking head on this goddamn thing tonight. This is the one, you know, this is the one I keep trying to sell. I told you guys I was going to $500 ship. This, the, the short block is still not going. So I'm going to put this head on it and see if I can't sell it locally. Uh, so there's that. And then, okay. So the K24, uh, which I guess I'd also be willing to sell. I mean, I have another K24 block and crank, so I could always put forged pistons and rod in that later. And this is, you know, I've got two other builds that I'm going to do, uh, potentially a third one that I, they're going to see action first before K24. So I could technically get rid of this and it's not going to hurt. Anyway, uh, shit. What was I saying? Okay, so the comparisons, right? You're going to see that, look, a lot of the portholes and shit for coolant and stuff, uh, they all look the same. Right, and now we go back over the head gasket, and it's going to talk about a similar thing. Now you'll see that the K24 was it? Yeah, the K24 is a different one. Where'd it go? Um, seems like there's a a slight variation, but not not major. Yeah, you, know, you see, like this one's got the little divide here, and no divide on the K24. But other than that, if you look, the loops themselves, where they sit and the shape and size. Are virtually the same besides that uh, that difference right there with that um, so yeah anyway so k23 uh, k23 head gasket uh, and now there's no dowel pins on here and and whatnot and also I guess there's a real quick note on the dowel pins but I've I've assembled plenty of engines without using the dowel pins before I've never seen any kind of issue I really think the dowel pins are just there to make little things, make things just a little bit easier when you're putting the head gasket on. Because when you have the dowel pins in the head already, you can uh, slide the head gasket onto the dowel pin and it kind of holds it in place so you don't have to try and hold it and balance at the same time. Don't have dowel pins in this B18 I did last night or the night before last. So when I put the head gasket on, it was a little bit more delicate, you know. Uh, but that's not, still not seriously a big deal. Now, normally if I'm using an ARP head suds, you just kind of put the studs in place and that holds the head gasket is so that way you don't move anyway that's a uh, different topic but anyway so you see lines up pretty well and actually what you noticed here too and i guess another thing to talk about is that uh you know like people talk about when you're boring your engine over a millimeter or whatnot like uh you need to get a bigger head gasket you don't you see here that you don't really need to do that right because the um, the head gasket is actually underlapped right so you you have the cylinder still exposed and this is damn near perfectly aligned on here this it's not really going to get there's not really much, too much tweaking in the size of where you're going to put this head gasket on there it's it's laying right on there and you still see that there's a little bit of the cylinder liner poking out from the head gasket right <clears throat> now 
take that same K20 head gasket, put it over here on the K24. Now remember, there's only a, there's a millimeter difference in the uh, in the in the cylinders, right? 87 versus 86. When you line it up, it's smack dab perfect. Like, uh, see, I'm pinching pinching the head gasket there, and it's perfectly settled on the cylinders. It's right on top of it. It's not underlapped or whatnot. Like, it's it's not a I'm saying, see, look, oh, I don't know how. See, so put pressure on there. You see the gas is not moving. It's perfectly lined up with the cylinder wall. So, there's a lot of times when people talk about head gaskets, like when you when you bore over, do you have to buy a specialized? No, you gotta remember, guys, when you're boring over, you're boring over half a millimeter, half of a millimeter. Or if you're boring over a full meter, you're boring over one millimeter. Don't forget how small that number is, guys. <laughs> So you don't have to buy any kind of specialized head gasket when you're going to go over. And um, so when you're th when you're talking about buying the um, the head gaskets, um, I guess uh, you know, like with the B20V LSV conversion, uh, I don't go with the head gasket for the block on that one. I go with the head gasket for the head. And I, that's also a separate video. I'm not going to link that one. You can just search for it if you want to find that. Uh, and there's a whole write-up and there's a very specific reasoning behind that because of what the oil ports and the coolant ports So that's why I say you just better just watch that video or just look up the information if you google it Golden Eagle has a chart and it explains in great detail with pictures uh, showing uh, block versus head why it's you should use one or the other And that's why I always use the head even though people argue that you should get the one for the block and then drill out the um, The copper stud thingies that are in the head gasket, you know the ones that are It'll block the head. I don't do that. I just get the one for the head. So I don't have that problem. Um, so yeah, I think a quick quick sum up there. If you're gonna use the um, if you're gonna do the K20 block with the or K24 block with the K20 head, I think it's not that big a deal to just grab the K20 head gasket. And I also don't think it's that big of a deal to get the um, the K24 head gasket. Uh, the the ports. I guess. Uh, okay. Well, here that's that's the difference, right? Uh, that's the difference right there. If you, you, you take a look at that, right? See right here, and versus the, the slits that are bigger here. So I guess these are, I guess these are the coolant ports. Yeah, these are, would be the coolant ports on the head. So I guess what it comes down to is um, the bottom of the head design. And I do have a K24 head buried, and of course these are both K20 heads. Uh, I have a K24 head buried over there, and I got these both K20 heads. But um, you know, that's what's really what could come down to the comparison is flipping the heads up side by side and taking a look at them. And I guess it's just seeing um, which one I have the better flow in return. But uh, it's just to go to show that I think these are both close enough where I wouldn't I wouldn't bug on it too much. And I don't really see me doing a K24 or K20, K24 Frank in the near future. I guess the closest thing I'm getting at to that right now is the fact that I bored over that fucking K20 to 88 millimeters. I'm using that. So, um, and I am going to use a K20 head on that, but essentially the block is still, is still a K20 block all the way, th or engine block all the way through. It's just one's fucking bored to shit out. Yeah, so, um, I guess that's it, man. I just wanted to show you that. I guess if there's any more technical reasons, I didn't look into it. I didn't dig online for it to see any particular reasons why one's used over the other. Um, but I see that the head gaskets are so fucking close together that they both look like they could be used. I guess one just has a, and I guess you know it's it's not even really. It seems just like to be, um, yeah. The only the only major difference with those coolant return slots are the ones on the, uh, which I guess would be cylinder one. Yeah, cylinder one has different ones, uh, and I think that's also the reason for that is also because um, and I fucking slid it back under the goddamn thing here, but uh, I did take that out on this one. Because at first uh, I thought, you know, it was back when I was still fucking with the K's and early I didn't realize what the fuck it was. But uh, I'm not tripping on it because it's only if you use a certain head combination. Like the K20Z3 head and the K24A2 head, they have a different coolant design. And I think that it's uh, supposed to be like there's, there's a rubber piece. Yeah, I'm going to fucking dig it out here. Man. Because I don't know. It's easier to just show you guys. Oh, and I buried it. Buried the fucking block. There's a rubber piece in the block that's like a wedge that sits in there and it helps divert coolant flow to keep the head cooler or something like that to keep from temperatures from spiking. Now, 
I don't think you're necessarily gonna blow a head gasket without it there, but I mean it is there for a reason, of course. Honda put it there for a reason. And uh, but you don't need it if you don't use those particular heads, right? Yeah. Mm -mm. Sorry. This is what happens when you start diverting and talking about other random shit. That right there. It's a rubber, it's it's a rubber piece that's wedged in there that you can see is absent from here. And yeah, it's just the divert coolant flow. So that's why that on the head gasket, you got that extra big coolant notch over there. So yeah. Uh um, so there I guess, yeah, there's just you know, using the head gasket for so I guess it would make sense that if you're gonna if you're gonna do the K20, K24, use the head gasket for the heads you're using. Uh, unless you're bored over to 87.5, and then I would imagine that you would want to use the K24 gasket. So if you got a if you got a K24 block and you're bored over at 87.5, then I would use the K24 gasket. And if you're, or if you're stock bore, you can use the K20 because the K20 fits on there perfect. And then I guess uh, the only other difference would be which K20 you're using. If you're using K20A2 head, it doesn't really seem to matter which gasket you would use. If you're using a K20Z3 head, then I guess uh, it would matter. It would be more relevant for you to use the K24 gasket because the coolant notches, I think, match the K20Z3 head and the K24A2 head. So, um... That's that. I hope you're not confused. If you are, the good thing about this being a recorded video is you can replay it as many times as you need to to sort it out. Also, uh, the, the, um, the I guess the major point is, is it's not something to freak out out. You know, there's a lot of people like, oh my God, I've searched everywhere. I can't find this information. I just want to know which one I use. So it doesn't really matter that much, I think, I would say. Unless you're bored beyond 87 millimeters then yes you want to use, use the k24 head gasket but other than that i think if you're just running a stock board if you do the swap over it doesn't really matter if you use the k20 or the k20 head gasket all right guys so that's it i'm gonna I think i'm gonna watch a little more tv and chill out a little bit more and then i gotta get back to work because i said that i was gonna finish that and i didn't finish the i gotta still finish the intake adju uh, valve adjustments it shouldn't take me more than 30 minutes to do that and then the engine is going to come off the stand i gotta i'm gonna wrinkle black that valve cover but i gotta strip the shit off of it that's still left over uh, and but it doesn't need to be on the stand anymore the last thing i need to do for the stand to be on the stand to be comfortable for me is just the valve adjustments and once the valve adjustments are done i take the engine off and i don't know i said that i wasn't going to stop tonight until i get it done but i might be a fucking liar because i gotta clean out this mess to make sure i don't break my feet again tonight and then after I clean out the mess, I gotta get the K20 up on the stand. And I don't know. Well, let's see. It's midnight. It's a little bit after midnight right now. Oh, chill out, watch some more TV for like an hour or so, and then see how much juice I got and come back here and do it. Good thing is the kids don't have school tomorrow, so that means I ain't gotta wake up early. So uh, yeah. Hope to see you guys later. Peace.